My name is Ellie Cohen. I'm a medical Qigong practitioner and energy healing coach. I've been teaching this practice over 10 years and I've been sharing it in uh, many workshops and uh, weekly classes. If you'd like to know more, uh, please visit uh, www.chiwithelli.com. That's Q-I-W-I-T-H-E-L-I.com. And you can find more resources. And really, I just wanted to mention here that uh, where the tire meets the road is when you come and do the practice. Uh, this is kind of supplemental, um, educational, and really more like kind of a lifestyle talks that uh, that really helps to kind of understand Chinese medicine, maybe apply some techniques into your lifestyle, but really uh, where the tire meets the road is where the classes are. So please make some time to join our classes. Our, our classes are weekly and they're, they're hi there. Yeah, good to see you, Carla. <laughs> and uh, our classes are weekly and they're and they're taking a place uh, online and uh, so everybody can access it is tuesday morning at 8 a.m wednesday night at 8 p.m good morning qigong good night qigong really designed to how do we go to bed how do we wind down how do we get more energized in the morning and noon time thursday at noon it's really a class about about health and healing and at noon class we're really going into uh the 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 element the organs that are active during that time that that season now it's the lungs and we're working on immune boosting immune system and our talks is also about immune system right now because uh, this is the time to strengthen your immune system before uh, winter and if you're here in California the winter uh, already arrived <laughs> we had a huge storm just uh, uh, last uh, just two days ago, and I'm so glad to have the power back. We just got it today. So we were over two days without power. Uh, we have a generator, though, so <laughs> we could warm our food. <laughs> so uh, here we are at Chi Talk. Let, let's start with a little bit of a, a meditation, kind of like a little ceremony for this talk, just a five minute um, so we can all come into the same uh, energy space, if you will. So allow yourself to just close the eye and come into your body. Just feeling the body as you sit here now. And as you sit here now or stand or whatever you wherever you are, you feel the contact of the body with the earth. It could be the chair, it could be a uh, if you're sitting on the floor, it's the floor, but really how the feet touch the floor, the sit bones touch the, the floor through whatever it is, chair or cushion or, yeah, just kind of acknowledge the support of the earth beneath you. And allow your body to rest down, sink down. We call this in Qigong, Songla, S-O-N-G. Song lies and relaxation is sinking down and align your spine, yeah, with gravity. So allow the earth to take all your tensions by softening and acknowledging that you don't need to hold yourself up. The earth can hold you. If your spine is, is erected, muscle can be soft. The belly can be soft, the face can be soft. And gravity pulls all the energy. You can even imagine that all the energy pulled downwards towards the earth. All the tension is taking, is being taken by the earth. And allow your breath to sink into the lower abdomen. and not so much into the chest. The chest is relaxed, the shoulders are relaxed. And just move your attention to the sensation of breath in that area, the lower abdomen. Each breath at a time.
we allow ourselves to just acknowledge that the breath is here and we're putting our attention there without changing it or controlling it. In this area, the lower abdomen. And with each exhalation, see if you can soften even more the body and mind. And let's let's change the breath a little bit so we are kind of interrupting the natural flow of the breath by releasing the air from the mouth on the exhale when you release the air from the mouth allow all the breath to come out so at the bottom of the exhalation there's no more air Inhale from the nose, so you exhale all the way out, full exhalation. There's no more air in the bottom of the exhalation. Let's see what happened to the inhalation. But you focusing on lengthening the exhalation. Lengthening the exhalation. And slowly open your eyes when you're ready. Good. Beautiful. Just a little bit of breath practice. Yeah, so when we exhale, we lengthen the exhalation, we change our nervous system. If we do it more than two minutes, our nervous system is calming down. It's just science. So we really want to lengthen the exhalation, make it very soft and long, 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 twice as long as the inhalation. You could just do it whenever you like a little bit of a if you feel like you're really t stressed out, you're going to a meeting, you're going to meet somebody that you don't know and you're stressed out about it, just do it in your car. Just lengthen the exhalation for a period of time, just a few minutes, and then you'll be in much better energetic space. Might makes you a little sleepy. <laughs> it depends. <laughs> depends where you are. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, try that. So let's talk about the... Uh, we kind of talked about the immune system in the last four talks, I think, and today I wanted to kind of explore one more aspect. We'll talk a little bit about it and kind of wrap it all out, like the whole, this whole um, idea, the whole practice of immune system boosting of guardian qi, in Chinese called wei qi. So last time we talked about it, that it's the wei qi, yeah, so it's, it's really, you're really studying Chinese medicine. It's very interesting. Uh, but, you know, not in a school, but you're studying it like here and there. Pieces get you more information. Uh, so it's, it's very exciting, very exciting to me too. I, I love that stuff. So, so the Wei Qi is really your guardian energy, right? And we talked about it that it's being generated and stored. So it's being created by the spleen, by the digestive system. Digestive system, in Chinese medicine, we, the spleen is the organ that is uh, associated or the kind of like governing the digestive system. So the, it's being created and stored by the spleen. And we talked about how important it is to eat, uh, to eat a certain diet, to eat things that are very easy to digest, to really allow this energy to uh, be strong. We have a lot of a lot of people that are suffering from any chronic condition, whether it's going to be insomnia or depression or whatever it is, 
struggling with with some health issue for a longer period of time the spleen is going to be deficient yeah it's just again and again you can you can see it across the board and so really a diet would be very important and then we said that it's being created by the by the um spleen and it's being distributed by the lungs and really the lungs are the way to uh, boost your immune system so uh you know so it's almost like the lung is the engine that takes the chi and really spread it in your whole body and if the lungs are weak you're not uh, fulfilling your potential so the way chi has uh, ha there's a potential and there's there's like uh there's what you have and what you can do with it and many people don't uh use the whole potential so either the lungs is weak or you eating like junk food or a lot of fried food or alcohol whatever and so all of that really affects your immune immune system so uh so these are the two organs we talked about and today we're going to talk about another organ <laughs> is this interesting to you yes it's it's more like kind of like really Chinese medicine and sometimes our talk are, are a, little, a little bit more um, about he energy healing and today is a little bit more really hardcore TCM traditional Chinese medicine so the the other organ that is participating in all of that is the kidney <laughs> so the kidney is very important it's actually so the kidney is your if if the lungs is your checking account the kidney is your savings account. <laughs> so it's really like if you are breathing good and you're you have a good checking account. Yeah, you have a good we call it postnatal chi. So like you eating well, you breathing well, you exercise, you have really good energy throughout the day. That's your checking account. If you have a good checking account, some of it the kidney soaks in and save it save that chi and that that is your kidney chi yeah so whenever you have good energy the kidney is like okay yeah i can grab that chi now there's enough and i can store it and that's gonna be your savings account <laughs> and what usually happen is that we pulling out of the savings <laughs> do we know that we pulling out of the savings because we're like so tired and we don't have energy, we didn't sleep good, but what do we do? We're like, mm, I can drink some coffee. <laughs> and you drink coffee and you're feeling energized, but really what you did is you pulled out some money from your savings account to kind of help you out. And so, uh, so we are constantly doing that and that's uh, eventually it's gonna become kidney depletion. And really the kidney, is your pilot light this is how it's going to see in traditional chinese medicine it's going to be like this is the this is the the juice of life and this is the healing energy like when you are healing from ailments of sickness you're in bed what happened is that the kidney comes and 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 take charge and heal the body so the the strongest healing energy comes from the kidney so that's the root of all the organs it's the root of the kidney, it's, it's the root of the lung, it's the root of the spleen, it's the root of the liver. So the kidney is being seen in Chinese medicine as the root of all the other organs. If the kidney suffers, all the other organs suffer. So it's, uh, that's very important. So how we deplete kidney energy? Um, again, by go, 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 right? We are didn't sleep well, but we're still going, going, going. So that takes that takes energy that we don't have <laughs> uh, out of the kidney. So so the the thing is to nourish kidney energy is to uh, to do practices like meditation. Meditation is beautiful to uh, nourish kidney chi, qigong, soft qigong. There's all kind of style of qigong, like soft qigong would nourish the kidney. Uh, sleep, that's the uh, the practice to nourish the kidney. Especially, now this is really good coming up for winter, especially if you sleep, if you take a nap between 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. 
That's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret because during that time, the kidney meridian is active. So when you sleep, when you take a nap between 3 and 5 p.m., that's the time when the kidney energy is being charged. Like it's like a supercharge. You know, one of these, you get your iPhone and it's like, oh, rapidly charging. <laughs> that's rapidly charging between these two hours, between these uh, uh, five, four, uh, yeah, three to five so p.m. So you can take a nap during this time if you want to. If, if you don't sleep that well during this time would be the best for a kidney. And so that's very important to uh, get a good night's sleep, to sleep in a reasonable hour. Whatever, what, what uh, other things that uh, tax the kidney is emotional st distress. Emotional distress really taxing first the liver and the heart. You know it probably, right? You're, you're upset. The heart is pounding. The liver, it's like it's toxins. Emotional distress seeing is toxins. And the root, of course, the kidney would also be affected by it. So emotional distress. So we talked about immune system. Uh, I think two weeks ago, we talked about emotion, uh, the, the role in emotional distress and how important it is. It's really the most, um, one of the most um, important things to manage uh, for, for immune boosting. And also, emotional stress would affect your breathing pattern, right? So if you are upset, the breathing pa pattern will be very shallow. Yeah, it, it, it won't be very deep. <laughs> like I dealt with so many people working one on one with people that would suffer with chronic and they just breathe terrible. And and it's really a, a, it takes a long time to really um, teach people how to breathe very deeply. And for the for this to stick, it needs to really you need to really do it every day. And the breath can change the emotional. Like you see, we did this breath in the beginning of the practice. You already felt kind of calm. So it works both ways. You know, you can breathe differently and affect your emotional state. And your emotional state would affect the breath. So what's nice about the breath is that it's really the axis to the subconscious mind. This is why we always start with the breath in meditation and Qigong and yoga and all healing practices, we start with the breath because it's the only thing, the only mechanism in your body that is involuntarily and we can also control it. Like you cannot, cannot, you cannot control how fast your hair grows. You cannot slow it down. You know, it's just, it's involuntarily. It's just being done by the body and you don't have any control over it, but the breath you can control. And so that's, and it's also, is being breath, the breath being, you know, you're breathing, but without any effort, you can, you breathe, you don't have to do it, it just being done. So that's the only mechanism in the body that you can control. And, and so this, we say, hey, this is the access to the subconscious mind. So, <laughs> so very important in the uh, uh, immune system is, uh, is uh, emotional this uh, emotional energy emo your emotional energy and how you process emotions and and uh and that's why i spend so much time on it and and what else would nourish the kidney is mental rest so mental rest so either sleep meditation qigong anything that is not invigorating like when you scroll in your phone and looking at <laughs> that's very that's not resting right so emotional rest so any meditation that is focused like focus on one one point that's really powerful for kidney like just focusing on one point and for a longer period of time so so uh kind of like honing on on attention attention for a long period because what happened with the modern world is that our attention is jumped, ch -ch 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 -ch, jump, 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 jump. You know, people don't read books anymore. It's just there's no attention span anymore. We we just look at text, no text even more. We just look at pictures now. <laughs> there's no we don't read anymore. So it's like it's it's 
where our attention span is getting shorter, 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 <laughs> our kidney energy really get depleted a lot. <laughs> so really uh, uh, focusing, honing your focus, your attention span would, would really nourish kidney energy. So, uh, so that's, so that, so you see how it's all really wrapped around rest and, and, and replenish. This is why when we are sick, we don't go and run and heal. We actually sleep and heal. <laughs> we don't go to the gym. Like some people told me, oh, I went to the gym anyway. I pushed it and, you know, and I'm like, oh my gosh, your kidney are just like screaming at you and you even don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell him, but I'm like, oh, okay, okay, yeah, that's not the best way to heal, probably. <laughs> you should rest. Uh, but you know, it's it's so it's really um it's really about 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 mental rest and you know, and how do we deal with emotional distress? There's many, many ways. We did a workshop on it. It's called Emotional Resiliency, uh, three hour. And there's a lot. There's a lot of techniques about how to access different emotions, how to work with the with the mind, how to look at things differently, right? How to look at things. You know, I was here without power for two days. It wasn't very pleasant, let me tell you. But you know, how do you how do you see the beauty in things? How do you change your mind over? How do you like start to like you know and how do you accept stuff? How do you adapt to things? How do you change your mind? How do you move through an emotions? And we talked about how to move emotion through the body, how to feel it, how to breathe, how to talk about. So there's many, many ways that uh, we talked about many times in this series. And really, it's interesting because this is the way to increase your weight chi and increase the output. Uh, of what is your potential. So the potential is determined by the kidney. So that's that's the new thing about uh, the Wei Qi. The potential is from your ancestors. <laughs> so we call it prenatal Qi. You're born with some kidney energy and the Wei Qi is there. Now, how much you, you, uh, how much you have the output is depending on your breathing pattern, on your emotional energy and about your diet and mental rest and not that you have to rest all the time it's actually very good to exercise and to even exercise hard but then you rest really uh, well too when you're really active you rest very deeply too so that's another concept we can talk about in another cheetah called differentiating the yin and yang so really making a lot of space between yin and yang so you see a person that like a, an athlete athlete that is very very active very active and then at night it sleeps like a log yeah so that's a differentiation between yin and yang very strong yeah very strong in yang and very strong in yin so that's uh that's another concept as a very and we talked about it this morning in the class right so um this is what i have to say it's uh just to kind of add to and wrap this topic of, of immune system. And, um, and I just wanted to invite you to ask question or, or just add anything that you want to add to this. Um, if there's anything I'm, uh, I'd love to hear. And, uh, and then we'll, yes, Carla, yes. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I cannot hear you. Can you hear me now? Is it only me cannot hear you or? Can you hear me now? Hold on one second. I just have my speaker in. That's why. Oh, so I hear you. You hear me. Oh, good, good. Um, I just wondered often when I hear them talk about Wei Qi, it sounds like it's like an aura around the body. So is it? Does it actually, uh, you know, uh, when we build up the kidney chi and the lung chi is good, is it actually like an auric field around, like say, say there's a chi master who has really strong guardian chi. Is it something that builds right around the body that is protective? 
Uh, yeah, good question. Thank you. It's it definitely manifests in the in the auric field. So it it definitely would manifest in the auric field. So a person, you can actually do it yourself. Sometimes we do it at the, during the class at the end. It's just feel your feel your energy field. Yeah, you're putting your hands in front of your body. You're getting the hands closer and closer, and then you feel the sensation over the hands, and the sensation over the hand would increase as you come closer, you feel a sort of a resistant to the chi. Sometimes the people feel it immediately when I tell them, hey, just do that. And sometimes a qigong class would actually, uh, you would become more sensitive to it. So you would have it all over the body. And you would notice like if you would be sick in bed and you check it out, it's gonna be not as strong. But if you're a very, you slept very good, you feel energized, you check it out, and all of a sudden, oh yeah, I have a lot of a lot of energy here. So there's a lot of heat inside of you, that, so that's, we call it the Dantian uh, heat. There's a way to charge up the, the burner, we call it the kidney burner, it's the lower abdomen. So really the, the practice, the Wei Qi breathing technique is really uh, tonifying the kidney. It's uh, if you want to, if anybody wants to really start a, f a f immune system boosting breathing technique, it's called longevity.chiwideli.com. And that's where the, this workshop, it's a two hour workshop, we really tonifying the spleen and the kidney and, and strengthening the, the burner and the, the way chi field will be stronger. So it really would manifest. So my, my answer would be definitely would manifest in the energy field around you. But it is distributing, yeah? The lung would distribute it to the skin. The lung would control the skin and, and then the energy will be stronger. I definitely was around some uh, big Qigong masters that have a very strong Qi field. You, you, you could actually feel it walking by them. Uh, it's just sort of buzzing, like you're getting a close to an electrical, oh, wow. <laughs> electrical pole or something. It's very interesting, but they work years and many, many years in specific. They work on the burner. They work on the space between the kidney and the navel. That space, they can charge it up. And from there, there's a, the energy field. So that's a, maybe we'll do a, a workshop about it. But the, the, the girdle vessel, the girdle vessel around your belt, that's going to be the strength of your auric field. Yeah, you have the vertical, you know how, this is more like about centering, yeah. how centered you are and how big that pole is. And then the girdle vessel would be about the auric field, how big that hula hoop around your waist is. And you can get it really, really big. You can get it very large and that would determine the space around you that you created. You know, they said Marilyn Monroe, used to have a very strong energy field. People would notice her from like 20 feet away. Yeah. So uh, yeah, there's many, many, uh, many. But I, don't uh, think, but I don't think she did the kidney breathing. <laughs> well, maybe know, she did, we well, don't know. <laughs> that's that's pre prenatal, you know, some people oh. born, I don't know what happened in past life with her. Who was she before she was who she was she was? But there's things that you take from other lives. So, <clears throat> so yeah, so we can, something you born with something you but we all have the potential for increasing that energy field and working on it in this lifetime i know that i worked on it for a long time with some practices but uh it at it, it uh so i hope i answered your question yeah you did that is great thank you thank, <laughs> thank you. you carla is there anybody else that wants to say something before we kind of do a closing ceremony Okay, Edward is here. No, okay. So let's. Uh, so yeah, come join the class. I really suggest people would uh, do the Wei Qi breathing if you want to know how it is. Breathing in general, breathing into the lower abdomen, focusing on this point between the navel and the spine, while breathing into meditating on it would strengthen your kidney energy and uh, a breath meditation. So if you want a type of meditation that include focus, mental rest, mental focus, and breathing would just put your mind between the navel and the spine, 
try to focus on this point and breathe slowly in and out from this point. And that would be a beautiful meditation to strengthen your kidney energy and try to keep your mind sharply fixed on this point without moving it for a longer period of time. And when, when the mind goes out and wonder, you bring it back to this. So let's do this meditation as we're closing. Why don't we do that? Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you all. Thank you so much for joining. Let's, let's close with the meditation. Good to see uh, some uh, new faces here. So I welcome you to Chi Talk. This, uh, this Chi Talk is going to be trans transcribed into the podcast called Awaken the Healer Within. All right, let's close our eyes. Put both hands on the navel. And notice the breath in this area. When you, what you would notice is when you inhale, the space between the navel and the spine become larger. And when you exhale, the space become smaller. So create a, a, a kind of a trajectory line in your mind between the navel and the opposite point on the spine behind it. This trajectory line goes from the navel to the spine behind and that would be exactly behind the navel exactly that's lumbar number two between two and three and that's exactly what we call the door of life this point and focus on that line see that line become longer on the inhale And you can a little bit do a little bit more of differentiation, meaning when you inhale at the top of the inhale, pause a little bit to notice, hey, this is this is the line, and then exhale and get the and get the two points closer together. And then also on the bottom of the exhalation, you notice the two points, the line is shorter. So you have four, you have the inhalation, the pause, the exhalation and the pause. So when you create a little bit of a clarity between inhale and exhale by this pause and allow you allow your mind to connect to this area better. At the pauses of the breath is when your mind can really grasp that area. This meditation is very, is emotionally relaxing and very empowering. Be very attentive. This is a wonderful meditation when you try to sleep at night, it's gonna really charge up your body, kidney chi. Nice, and from here, let's open the hands to the side, open the eyes. Beautiful, so it's just a few minutes. If you do it for a longer period of time every day, you would, I don't know if some of you, maybe some of you feel some heat there in that area. 
you do it for a longer time every day, you're going to start to feeling heat in this area. Yeah, there's techniques to get more heat there even. But for now, I think this is good. If you're starting to do this every day, you're going to feel, oh, yeah, my energy is stronger. All right, guys. Again, thank you so much for joining. And uh, I'll see you in class, hopefully, if not in the next tea talk Thank you, guys.